Hey everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun collaboration with Max Factor and PNG for a wonderful campaign called Glam Jam. So get this guys, Max Factor has just signed the Marilyn Monroe as their global brand ambassador. Marilyn Monroe, right? So Glam Jam is a great campaign which encourages women all around the globe to share their glamorous looks on social media this January, as in right now January. There is no doubt that Marilyn Monroe's transformation is Hollywood's most famous transformations. From beautiful Norma Jane to this stunning screen siren bombshell Marilyn Monroe, it just goes to show how powerful makeup is. Makeup isn't vain. Makeup is art. Makeup allows us to enhance the things that we love about ourselves and you know what alter and conceal the things that we feel a little bit insecure about and that's fine that's normal i don't think there's anything wrong with that now that the year is still young and still fresh a lot of people like to experiment with their look during this time we like to try new hairstyles and lipsticks and makeup trends and all that when you go back to school or work at the beginning of the year it can sometimes be difficult and you can sometimes forget to take care of yourself. You know, putting in that extra effort in the morning to glam yourself up just for you, not for anybody else, for you, can really help make you feel good about yourself. It could really improve how your day goes. I know for me, when it was exam period at uni, um, what I liked to do was go and sit my exams with a full face of makeup on um, because that made me feel good. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can transform yourself into Marilyn Monroe and get her iconic makeup look, as well as some of the tips and tricks her and her makeup artist Whitey used. I'm also going to show you how you can tone this down and make it work appropriate so your trips to the office, the lecture hall or your day-to-day -day activities are that little bit more glamorous. So if you'd like to see how to get both looks then please keep on watching. So we're going to start from scratch with a blank canvas. Marilyn liked to take care of her skin by applying a generous layer of Vaseline before applying her makeup. This made her skin glow on set. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do that now, but I do recommend that you do apply your favorite moisturizer before applying your makeup. This is going to plump and hydrate your skin. Let that settle before applying your makeup. Since we're taking this look from day to night, it's really important that you apply a primer underneath your makeup. I'm using the Facefinity All Day Primer by Max Factor and I've applied this from my hairline all the way down to my neck. I like to drag my foundation onto my neck just so I don't have a harsh line on my jawline. Which is why I apply primer to this area. I'm using the Miracle Touch Liquid Illusion Foundation today because I have dry skin. Oily skin types, I recommend the 3-in-1 foundation because it has a built-in primer. No matter what foundation I'm using, majority of the time I'm blending it in with a buffing brush. You might not believe me when I say that Marilyn didn't like her foundation thick and cakey. She liked light, dewy, radiant skin because she believed it made her look younger. Now onto the brows. I'm using a Max Factor brow pencil in the shade number 2 Hazel and I'm firstly using the brush side to comb through my brows before using the pencil to fill in any sparse areas. I love when my brows are filled in. If you have thick brows just like me and you can't manipulate the shape of your brow, then stick to your natural shape. And for those people who complain about having thin brows, you are lucky in a way that you can manipulate the shape of your brow. Marilyn had a high arch, so if you can, draw them higher. Marilyn liked her eyes to look big and bright. So take a white eye pencil and brighten up your eye area by highlighting your brow bone and your inner corners not forgetting to line the rim of your eyes because that's just going to open up your eyes even further. Blend the white pencil out using a small synthetic brush and then move on to your eyeshadow. Take a pale eyeshadow and apply this from lash line all the way to brow bone, concentrating most of the color on the lids and the brow bone area. Whitey liked to deepen Marilyn's eyes by using a soft brown eyeshadow through her crease. With my 217 blending brush, I'm dipping into my brown shadow and running this through the crease. Make sure you don't apply too much product. We want that crease color to be soft. And with whatever's on your brush, take this underneath the eyes. It's super important that you curl your eyelashes for a Marilyn look. It's something that she did often because she believed it made her eyes look even bigger. Clamp your eyelashes down in between the rubber grips and hold for three seconds. Do this to both eyes before applying your liner and mascara. A lot of people think that Marilyn used a black liquid liner. 
wrong. Her liner was actually brown and it was a pencil. However, I don't have any pencils, which is why I'm using a brown gel liner. Because she was peroxide blonde, her makeup artist used a brown pencil because he believed it was softer. This was the secret to Marilyn's bedroom eyes. Her liner was always winged, extended up and out. Now, it was also said that she only wore accent lashes because she believed it made her eyes look more exotic. And to add to that glamorous, sexy look, her makeup artist Whitey drew a fake shadow on her lower lash line, giving the illusion that her eyelashes were so long and fluttery that they were casting a shadow. Now, how clever is that? So, to draw my fake shadow, I'm using a grey pencil from Max Factor and you want it to be grey or cool tone because that's what colour a shadow is. Make sure you soften it and blur it out so the line isn't too harsh and obvious. But still, you want to emphasise that shadow by placing a white eyeliner in between those two wings we created. Follow up with coats and coats of mascara and make sure you concentrate the bulk of the mascara on your outer lashes. This is going to add more bulk and length to our outer lashes, giving our eyes that exotic shape Marilyn was after. Apply a very small amount to your lower lashes because we do want this look to be day appropriate. And also applying too much mascara on your lower lashes rounds out the eye, so don't apply too much. This makeup look is also really pretty with glasses, so if you do wear glasses when you're in the office, then this look is perfect for you. Marilyn's desired face shape was a heart shape, and she did everything to create that illusion, even by lifting her brows and contouring. So what I'm going to be doing is contouring by using a bronzer to slim down the bottom half of my face and also using my blush to further sculpt my face. With whatever blusher is left on my brush, I'm applying this all over my face because this is something that Marilyn used to do because she believed it made her look younger. To create Marilyn's iconic red lip in a wearable form, I'm using the Max Factor Color Elixir in the shade Ruby Tuesday and I'm only going to be applying my lipstick to the center of my lips. And this is the finished look. Psych, I'm totally kidding. Because the lip texture is so beautiful and creamy, I'm going to be using my finger to spread it out and press it into my lips to create a beautiful stain. And this stain won't dry your lips. It's actually proven that this lip elixir helps to condition and moisturize the lips. Improving the condition of your lips as soon as you put it on. To turn this day look into a bombshell makeup look, take a white shimmery shadow to highlight the eyes. You want to highlight the center of your lids and also the inner corners of your eyes. This is going to open up our eyes even further, reflecting light in such a beautiful way. Marilyn liked her lips only one way, full and pouty. So what I'm doing is applying some highlighter, that same eyeshadow that we use on our eyes on our cupid's bow, and that's going to draw our lips forward. Time to drop on our accent lashes. I'm using these Ardell lashes and I'm going to be applying them just to my outer corner to give my eyes more of that exotic look. Place them as close to your lash line as possible and use that same brown liner to conceal the glue. So pay attention guys because I'm going to show you how to get Marilyn's luscious lips. Marilyn believed that applying layers and layers of lipstick, lip liner, lip gloss and shadow helped make her lips look bigger. So start by using a lip liner to map out Marilyn's classic shape and if you need to, slightly extend and draw outside your natural lip line. Now don't hold back and don't be shy. You want this liner to be as thick as possible. This was key to achieving Marilyn's full pout. I'm now taking the Color Elixir Lipstick by Max Factor once again. And like we did with the lip liner, you don't want to hold back with this product. Apply the lipstick and then blot your lips with a tissue. Now this shade, Ruby Tuesday, really does remind me of Marilyn. Don't worry about your lips drying up because the Color Elixir will help them out with its conditioning formula. You want to apply a shimmery eyeshadow that is quite pale in color to the center of your lips of both your top and lower lip. So lips. now it's time to layer some lip gloss over the lips. So use your lip brush to control the amount of product that is on your lips we don't want too much. Now this is going to sound crazy but once you've done spreading and applying the lip gloss all over your lips take a tissue and blot once again. Yes you are taking the shine away but there is lip gloss residue on your lips that will help give your lips a fuller appearance. You want to repeat the layering process by firstly applying your lipstick straight from the tube. Once again you just want to isolate this illuminating powder to the centermost part of your lips before applying a second layer of lip gloss. It took Whitey three hours to apply Marilyn's makeup, so you can really appreciate the time, effort, and also skill put into Marilyn's look. All you have left to do for this look is highlight the high points of your face and add Marilyn's famous beauty mark. I have to say, I really enjoyed this transformation. The lipstick and mascara were like clothes.
I saw that they have improved my look as much as if I had put on a gown. This is my transformation, my before and after. Now this time, I want to see your transformation. When sharing your images, use the hashtag GlamJam and don't forget to tag me and Max Factor in it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the variations that I gave you, the two options for day to night. I had so much fun making this video, so much so that I'm actually going to be wearing this look out now. And don't forget guys, I have Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So if you'd like to come and see what I do on a daily basis, um, then you are more than welcome to. It's just at Ruby Galani, just my name. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys there. I love you guys. Bye.